New Year starts with the new moon on the first day of the new year, and ends on the full moon 15 days later. Changjia is the most oldest renowned street in Beijing. It is the center stage for New Year parades and temple fair that has started 400 years ago. New Year's Eve and New Year's Day are celebrated as a family affair, a time of reunion and thanksgiving. The celebration was traditionally highlighted with a religious ceremony given in honor of heaven and earth. Welcome to Changjia Beijing Temple Fair. Welcome to travel life. And this is the best thing during the Chinese longest holiday, which is New Year. This starts first day of the New Year, and lasts for six days. People come over here, you can find all kind of interesting items, flowers and、uh, kites, crafts, and even antique. The most of all, you will find you can see here is people. There's a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand people all over. Many, many fun things. There's a food. Ooh, nice. Food is always an important segment of any holiday in China. Changjia Temple Fair is no exception. One of the favorite and most typical dishes were niangao, sweet steamed glutinous rice pudding, and zhengzhi, glutinous rice wrapped up in red leaves, another popular delicacy. In the north, steamed wheat bread and a small wheat dumpling were the preferred food. The tremendous amount of food prepared at this time was meant to symbolize abundance and wealth for the household. The typical holiday sweets also include fruit stick and candy bar. Parade is the most popular and best entertainment segment during the temple fair. For example, drum band marching the street and Zhongfan, the Chinese bamboo flag presented within martial arts, are both unique and striking to the audience. <laughs>
Zhang Alley sits in the southwest of the center of Beijing. It only takes two kilometers come from Tiananmen Square. It used to be a market for antique collectors. Also, there are many bookshops around here, and they're famous. Everybody know about that. There are lots of futons like this. In about 400 years ago, Liu Lichang Alley in Beijing was famous for its antique search and book collection business. In about the 20s and 30s, Changjia Temple Fair attracted lots of people. After Chinese New Year, the first day on the Chinese Lunar New Year calendar, people come here have fun. Liu Lichang was called Hai Wang Chun in the past. It was a Chinese courtyard-style shopping center covering an area of 1,500 square meters. It deals in tons of thousands of chinaware of different dynasties, animal jade articles, metal and stone seal cuttings, the four treasures of the study and career. Every New Year, the Temple Fair, in conjunction with Street Parade, had attracted thousands of people in decades. It used to be the center stage. For Beijing residents to celebrate the first day of New Year, the spirit of the fair was a sign of the society for happiness and joy. It was initiated in Ming Dynasty. Liu Lichang had been booming for a great period of time in Qing Dynasty. It was put on hold for a while during the China Civil War. Then it has been reopened in a more modern way. If you are a traveler or antique collector, then you can try your luck here and find your favorite items in a long, narrow, or rather a little messy street. In the past, scholars and researchers had to come to Liu Lichang to find books and references they need. Candidates for emperor's exam also came here to buy books and look for help in Chinese literature. In the year of 1773, Liu Lichang Culture Street became even more prosperous within the period of Qianlong Emperor in Qing Dynasty.
China bookstore used to be called the Cathy Bookshop. It collects many old traditional books. It can trace hundreds of years history. Whoops! I think there's a little mistake. Established in 1952, China Bookstore is the first state-owned bookshop collecting and repairing used books. For the past 50 years, China Bookstore has restored more than 300,000 precious Asian books. It is regarded as a patron saint of China traditional culture. China Bookshop mainly issues books on literature. History, philosophy, arts, calligraphy, and collections. Meanwhile, it circulates in a wide range of used books and magazines. In China Bookshop, recorded that one of the oldest terms for China is "Zhongguo," which means Middle Kingdom. One explanation, sometimes disputed, is that the Chinese regarded. As China, the center of the civilized world, surrounded by barbarians, the English word China seems to derive from the Qing Dynasty, which is year 221 to 206 BC, during which the Great Wall was built. Whenever there is a street parade in China, we will never miss the line dance and acrobatic show. The first day of the Lunar New Year is the welcoming of the gods of the heavens and earth. Many people abstain from meat on the first day of the new year because it is believed that this will ensure long and happy lives. On the second day, the Chinese pray to their ancestors as well as to all the gods. They are extra kind to dogs and feed them well, as it is believed that the second day. It's the birthday of old dogs.
You'll be a great musician like this guy. Right? <laughs> The third and fourth days of the new year are for the sons-in-laws to pay respect to their parents-in-law, and this information has been carried out on the stage show, Beijing Opera. This one, they show me on the Lulujang Street. There's so many um, antique stores and also historical uh, stores like a bookshop, cafe bookshop, and uh, oh, that one, Rongbao Jai, that has hundreds of years history. It's still existing today. And I read that from the book. I gotta go see what's inside. Rongbao Jai, located at West Street of Liu Lichang. The building is in a grand royal style that has more than 300 years of history. It was founded by Song Zhu Jai as a paper shop in 1672. Rongbao Jai has a large collection of four treasure items of studies in Chinese tradition. It includes brush pen, painting paper, ink, and ink slab. And it says, if you want to find the best quality throughout the China, this Rongbao Jai is the place to find. And you have to do your own calculation. Brushes and ink had already existed by the 14th century BC. By the time of the bamboo sleeves and silk books, brushes and ink had been in wide use for a long time. During the spring and autumn and Warren States period, which is about 772 BC, the quality of ink greatly improved. In the Han Dynasty, pine soup was first used in ink making. As to paper, historical records and unearthed artifacts provide evidence that the Chinese people began to use paper as early as the 3rd century BC at the beginning of the Western Han. Chinese tradition brush painting has a long history. The earliest Chinese painting in between 5000 to 2000 BC were on ceramics and metals to symbolize the respect of religious and magic. The painting gradually shifted to a stylistic stage. The tools used for brush painting are called Four Treasures of Stationery.
小姐儿哎，卡巴古塔大天罗。The fifth day of Chinese New Year is called Pu Wu. On that day, people stay home to welcome the gods and the wealth. No one visits families and friends on the fifth day because it will bring both parties bad luck. And the sixth to the tenth day, the Chinese visit their relatives and friends freely. They also visit the temples to pray for good fortune and health. Prior to New Year's Day, Chinese families decorate their living rooms with vases of pretty blossoms. Planters of oranges and tangerines and a candy tree with eight varieties of dry sweet fruit. On walls and doors are poetic couplets, happy wishes written on red paper. These messages sound better than the typical fortune cookies message. For instance, "May you enjoy continuous good health, and may the star of happiness, the star of wealth." And the star of longevity shine on you, especially positive couplets. 